Welcome back to the lore and legend of Super Robot Tyson. Our next subject that, as I promised, is a part of the force known as Mithril is an old 80s series that basically very few people know about. And has been in the Super Robot Tyson series since um, the Super Nintendo game. That unit happens to be None other than Dan Kuga. Dan Kuga originally showed on April fourth, nineteen eighty five, through December seventeenth of the same year. It ran for thirty eight episodes and spawn four different OVAs. The first one is the sequel, I mean there are two sequels, one music video and an epilogue. Now the whole title is really called Choju Kishin Dankuga or Super Beast Machine God, Dan Kuga. And Dan Kuga is made of the following. An eagle, a cougar, a liger, a hawk, I believe a mam oh let's see a mammoth eagle liger hawk and I for I forgot there was something else. Um give me a moment. I think I was right. It is comprised of eagle, mammoth, cougar. Mammoth, Eagle, Liger, Cougar, Mammoth, Hawk. As you can all see, right there, without the Hawk, you just only get Down Cougar. With the Hawk, it's final Down Cougar. Now, unlike most um, Super Robot series, in which you would notice that most transformable mechs would come into battle right, right then and there, Dan Kuga, Dan Kuga is just as powerful individually as well as when they form together. The story behind Dan Kuga is this. They were fight they are a team of four originally. And the fifth came along as the Black Knight, also known as Alan Igor. Of course the four are the following characters. Sh Shinobu Fujiwara, Sarayuki, got Masuda's last name, but you have Shinobu, Sara, Masato, Yo, and Alan.
Now since they are a five man unit, they have the option to actually spread, you know, separate into two units because of Alan's black wing. He can basically, it can basically be two units instead of one unit. In this game, its theme song is the Heat of Anger, but in the in the last game before, that theme song was Burning Love, which was, of course, which of course was the series theme song. Its first theme, well, the first series ending theme song, I should say. But, um, of course, its powers are the big gun, the Dunkuken, a three punch combo, the Dunkuho, the Dunkuho formation. The Raging Beast or the Aggressive Beast Mode and the Danku Koga Ken. Now really if you think about it, they, they resemble another series which um, also came out in the 80s known as Hakjuo Go Line. Or otherwise known as Beast King, Go Lion. Also, it reminds me of um, the Megazord from Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Except that if if you don't give it the colors, like like the usual colors, this is what you would get. You take all the colors off the um, the Power Rangers mech. You get this. If you didn't have Daisujin colored, this is what you would get. You would actually get Final Dan Kuga. I mean, think about it. If you really do think about it, it kind of makes sense. But in the course of the game, the only enemy that you actually do fight from the series is Shapiro Keats, who was basically a traitor to the earth. Considering that he was working with Emperor Muge just to become a bigger douche than he already was. Sad thing is, he gave up on his then girlfriend Sara, just become an even more of a douchebag than he, than he was already. Oh well, his loss, isn't it? But Dan Kuga being one one of the most badass robots, one of the various badass robots in this game, or in the universe, he is powerful. It can land a lot of damage, and it can also miss. It can take a lot, it can take damage, as well as give some damage, so by far, out of all the combination robots that I've seen in this game, Don Kuga is is the one, and is a part of Mithril 2. How that is, I don't know. But in any case, Don Kuga, it, Don Kuga in story is a part of Mithril. I have to say, they made the best choice for for Don Kuga. Gaining Dan Kuga. Now, see, this is the difference. That is the only difference of Dan Kuga, right there. But strangely, it looks like Voltron and Daisujin from um, Zoo Ranger. 
or Mighty Morphin Power Rangers here in the States. Really, I think Dan Cougar was a nice touch, considering that it was one of the um, main level, the part of the Prime SRW series. It also is featured in, I believe, Alpha. Or I think Alpha Gaiden, or... It, it's one of the Alpha series. I think it might also be in Original Generation 2. Although I think it is in... I believe it's in the Alpha series. But in any case... Final Dan Cougar is a boon to this important battle that we are going to embark on. And following Dan Kuga, we are going to the next great series that has also been incorporated by Kelamal Tomino. So join me next time as we take a look inside Brain Power. Next time on The Lore and Legend of Super Robot Tyson. Stay tuned for our next part.